Hello, Turbo Girl. You look happy today. Yes, I am rather happy with myself. I scored full marks for my mathematics topical test today. That's fantastic. Which topic were you tested on? Whole numbers up to ten millions. Now I am very keen to learn more about numbers up to ten millions. Great. Look like you are all geared up for today's lesson. We are all going to learn how to compare whole numbers up to ten millions as well as arrange them in order. Yippee! Let's start. Turbo girl, do you know which number is bigger? Five hundred and sixty-four thousand and thirty-two, or fifty-six thousand four hundred and thirty-two. There are six digits in five hundred and sixty-four thousand and thirty-two, while there are only five digits in fifty-six thousand four hundred and thirty-two. Thus, five hundred and sixty-four thousand and thirty-two is a bigger number than fifty-six thousand four hundred and thirty-two. Well, there is one way of finding out which number is bigger. What if both numbers are six-digit numbers? For example, one hundred and forty-seven thousand five hundred and eighty-three and one hundred and seventy-five thousand eight hundred and forty-three. Which number is bigger? Hmm. We have to compare the digits of the same place value of both numbers one by one. That's quite right. When we want to compare which is the bigger number. We align the digits of the numbers. Then we compare place by place, from left to right. Since the digit in the hundred thousands place for both numbers is one, that means they have the same hundred thousands value, which is hundred thousands. Thus, we compare the next digit in the ten thousands place. The ten thousands place. Of one hundred and forty-seven thousand five hundred and eighty-three is the digit four, while in one hundred and seventy-five thousand eight hundred and forty-three, it is the digit seven. Since seven is a bigger number than four, we know that one hundred and seventy-five thousand eight hundred and forty-three is a bigger number than. One hundred forty-seven thousand five hundred eighty-three. Hey, this is very much like what I have learned in primary four in comparing numbers. Yes, the method used is the same. Now, tell me which number is smaller, six million and five hundred, or six million and fifty thousand? Wow, numbers in the millions. Well, I have to first align the digits of the numbers. Then I compare the digits place by place from left to right. The digit in the million place for both numbers is six. That means they have the same million value, which is six million. So I have to compare the next digit in hundred thousands place. The digit in the hundred thousands place of both numbers is zero. That means both the numbers do not have any hundred thousand value. Okay, what do you do then? I have to compare the digits in the ten thousands place. In the ten thousands place of six million five hundred is the digit zero, while in six million and fifty thousand it is the digit five. Since zero is the smaller number than five, I know that six million five hundred is a smaller number than six million fifty thousand. Good, you are correct.